Okay, welcome back everyone to a special episode of Yoda's Hut. I'm Bill. I go by Yoda Man on the boards. And once again, I'm joined for commentary by Derek tonight. Hey, Derek, how's it going? I'm doing well. All right, so this is uh, round one, game one of the uh, Swiss rounds of the Cary, North Carolina Regional. I am on the right playing a Smuggler Jedi deck against uh, Christian, uh, a longtime uh, Star Wars LCG player from out at Gamer's Armory, who's on the left playing a Sith Creatures deck. Um, I didn't actually get Christian's deck, although I think I had figured it out, but I'll go ahead and run mine down here. So I've got Smuggler's Affiliation, um, two Asteroid Sanctuary, one False Report, one Along the Gamma Run, two May the Force Be With You, one Hero's Trial, one Secret of Yavin 4, one Watchers in the Wasteland, and one Hero's Trial. So you had one of each Luke. And um, Christian was playing, as I said, a sort of a scum creature variant deck that... To my best of my knowledge, it looked like he was playing two Reawakening, two Threat from the Depths, two Brothers of the Sith, two Hunters of the Jedi, one Fearsome and Foul, and one Council of the Sith rather than Killing Cold. Um, we just flipping up objectives. He started with Reawakening, uh, Brothers of the Sith, and Threat from the Depths, and I've started with Secret of Yavin 4, Hero's Journey, and Along the Gamma Run. So, um, can I have to run those down real quick? And we think I know what Christian's deck is, but you got any initial thoughts about what it looks like we might see here, Derek? Uh, Reawakening is still one of my favorite pods. I, I've yet to, since that thing came out, it's never left my Sith uh, control <laughs> deck. I still have it in there. Yeah. Um, be interesting to see. Uh, you said he had some uh, scum in there as well. I thought you mentioned because I only see Sith stuff on the table right now. Uh, uh, no, he only has Sith in there. He had um, killing. Okay. He didn't have killing cold. He used um, Council of the Sith instead. Okay, I, I, yeah. maybe I misheard you. I thought you said he had scum as well at the, in the initial. Yeah, if uh, I did, I didn't mean uh, to say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks um, like he just played Gork and Telepathic Connection. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, it seems like, you know, because there's Sith spawn, Gork uh, pod works really good with creatures. And it seems like there's, you know, five, six, seven standard pods you play with them and then the rest are kind of you know up to you right so it'll be interesting to see how he uh works with uh if he can make reawakening work in here because that's definitely still one of my favorite pods yeah i've always liked reawakening too i haven't used it recently i probably should build something with it in it now again but um so he's triggering reawakening and if i remember right he made me uh discard i think like a cloud city guest or something that was a resource <laughs> which mm -hmm. i wasn't extremely happy about um i didn't i actually chose not to use gamma there because i figured i would have needed at least a three i got a nudge and the, just put the dial back down to zero <laughs> yeah hmm. so trying to play the slow game here and just hope he can't start choking my nudge or things and i'm gonna i didn't have a resource there because he got rid of one and i'm gonna play falcon which is gonna end up you know focusing me out i'm only gonna have three uh <laughs> resources next turn but i guess i figured i might as well go for it here with falcon yeah and, it, dep it depends on how if you get a big guy you can drop in with falcon then it's definitely worth it but you won't be able to replay him uh for a couple turns at yeah least, so yeah and, uh, uh yeah if you got like a luke right behind him or something that'll definitely be helpful yeah and he it, i think he put in one of the tukatas with threat from the depth so after which lets uh -huh. you put in a Creature after an engagement declared against a Sith objective. And I remember thinking, I hope he doesn't have pick here in his hand to drop in his work. <laughs> it looks like yeah, he went to edge. Your nemesis, I remember that. Yeah, uh, pick is just so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and I pitched a Yoda and he twisted. That's annoying. Yeah. I think, now that we're watching this again, I think what happened was I actually had both Yodas, so that's why I pitched one. I thought, yeah. well, maybe I can get Edge, just do some damage to Gork, and then bounce Falcon and put in Yoda. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. And I went and put another one in. I don't think it was Yoda. <laughs> uh, given that you pitched one, I'm sure you've yeah. got something good to drop in with yeah. Falcon. I threw a hired hands in there, and he pitched more than that. So he's going to get Edge and focus... Shoot Falcon for one and focus, and I think I'll bounce before he can strike with Quirk here. Yeah. Yeah, and then put in Yoda. 
Yeah. No. Oh, actually, I changed not, my mind. I put a freeholder in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I did that because I realized I could play Yoda at least on my next turn. <laughs> yeah. So, and with the freeholder, you can still put another focus on uh, Gork. Yep. And uh, and throw Yoda out there next turn. Yeah. So I think what I did there is I was reminding him that uh, Tukato actually got sacrificed after the engagement ended. So. Um, mm -hmm. And you can only do that once per turn. So yeah, I'm gonna attack threat from the depths and focus work and get three damage total with the unopposed on threat from the depths. So that's not too bad. Um, and I think I went out. I debated did I want to attack with a nudge, but I was worried if I flipped up a zero because he had seen with reawakening. Maybe I better not do that. So yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use Gamma first. And there's a Cloud City operative. So I would have had one. I guess I could have gotten something in, but. Okay, put the nudge on the force, take balance the dial, go back to one here. Hmm. So I'm only gonna have three resources. But <laughs> sorry about my dog in the background here as we're trying to do this kind of here. Uh he always times it well. Yeah. <laughs> so uh Let's see here. So I've got is the nudge to defend, but Gork is locked down, which certainly should help my cause here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's interesting. It, it was probably the right decision to not let you have that Cloud City uh, guest quarters, but that, given you the Cloud City op, that's one of the more annoying guys in the game to deal with. Too. Yeah. Has come into play. So, given that you didn't have another resource, it was probably the right choice. But man, I don't know what I would have done there. I might have, I might have left you the resource, especially knowing that you might gammer. <laughs> right, right. And uh, he is paying for a dragon snake, which you could actually just put in as an action there. So, I think I was kind of happy about that. Although I figured he must have other creatures then. <laughs> Yeah, well, you still have to pay. Yeah, you have to pay him regardless. So. Yeah. That's the one thing about creature decks in general is they they play they tend to be mostly defensive just because a lot of creatures have guns, but not many of them have blasts. No, I mean really the Sith worms are about the only thing with blasts. So he actually changed how he was paying for that so he could use Brothers of the Sith, and I think he got a Tukata and, like, another Gork or something, if I remember right. Or is that the Tarantinic? I can't tell with the glare. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell either. It's definitely another Tukata. Yeah, that I can see. Yeah, I can't. He got two things, so. Um, he only has one resource left now, though, so I think I'm going to probably be able to keep balance here. <laughs> Unless he's got a way to kill my nudge. Yeah. Yeah, that's a less than optimal turn for him. Yeah, it sure was. Because he's likely looking at Falcon on the next turn, so he needed to make some progress here so he'd be able to be set up for it. Right. You know, he's got one turn of grace, really, Yeah. before it comes back. So. Yeah, I guess he just didn't have anything. So I'm going to go Gamma there and got the Marauder. <laughs> that's a good edge card right now because I couldn't play it if I wanted to. Yeah. And I'm going to do a See, damage to reawakening, so I've kept that thing turned off, so I'm pretty happy about that. And Gork is locked down. And now with Yoda, this is going to be kind of helpful, I would think. <laughs> our reawakening doesn't turn off when it's damaged. Right. No, I just meant that I kept balance, so he wasn't able to. Yeah. You know, I was trying to yeah. get rid of it. <laughs> that was yeah. my goal. I wanted to get that thing off the board. And oh, that's interesting. I'm choosing to play a Guardian rather than that Yoda that I know is in my hand. I don't know that I would have done that. Just because you could send uh, Yoda first. Yeah, oh, he and, just uh, played force yeah. stasis on my freeholder. <laughs> yeah, or not first, but I was thinking you could, you'd send the freeholder and then uh, Yoda, and you could have put two more tactics on uh, Gork, but that's not going to happen now. But with the force stasis, it wouldn't happen anyway. Right, right. I guess I was thinking I might want some protection out, so I'm going to use Gamma here. I got a Wolfman. Um, yeah. Well, you do. Maybe you got a one, something like a swindle or something. Uh, yeah. Are there any one cost events in in there? I don't think you you weren't running core Han, so. No, I don't think I had anything in there that I could have played for one. I might have just mm. been trying to make him think I did. <laughs> yeah. 
I probably should have committed the freeholder. I remember saying that afterwards that I, I forgot to commit the freeholder because then I could have forced him a little bit more to to do something with Gammer being out. Mm-hmm. But and I guess he might have had the Tarantanic instead. So <laughs> now that he's playing that, so those things are pretty beefy with the three guns and the <laughs> four health. Yeah, they're really annoying to deal with. So, and maybe but, that's why I didn't play Yoda, because maybe that must have been, since we couldn't see it, that might have been what it was. So I was thinking if I lose Edge, he's just going to kill Yoda, so I want to get a protector out there. Mm. That would make a little more sense now. Well, you got the Freeholder now, who has four health, plus the Guardian with the shield, so it's going to take mm. seven damage to get him off the table. Right, right. Um... But he does have Gork now who can draw guys in. He can easily just draw your nudge in and kill it. He sure could. I got a pretty good hand of cards there, though, because I only played the Guardian. <laughs> yeah. And I got the extra card from Gamma that I got that Wolfman there. And uh, looks like he just took balance back with Gork there, I didn't trigger because I knew he could beat me, whatever I put out. And he just discarded a Luke. (laughs) That was a little annoying. Reawakening is so good if you can get some good cards with it. Yeah, I I mean, there's some cards in this game I have good luck, bad luck with. Reawakening is one of my better luck cards. I almost always get something whenever I trigger it. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, that's probably why I'm I'm somewhat biased towards it because it's so many times I pull Yoda, I pull Luke, pull Falcon, you know whatever. Right. And <laughs> I've had pretty good luck with it myself here, so I guess I'm going to just play the Falcon again. I still didn't get a resource, <laughs> and uh, I have a bunch in the deck, so. Yeah, see, now the problem is with Falcon, you've got a, uh, it can be one shot by that, uh, big dude over there. Yeah, that's true. It could be, but at least I can bounce Falcon if I'm going to get one shot. <laughs> so. Yeah, but, or you can simply send, you could send the freeholder first to as an extra health. Yeah. But, oh. Well. I think I am sending the Falcon in after Brothers of the Sith, it looks like. And, um, I mean, it depends if... on the edge hand, too. I, I love having twists are so much better on defense and offense, but if you've got edge one, they're really good because then yeah. you can still sucker in a couple of their cards. Yep, so it looks like he's just defending with the Tarantanic, I think, and I put a card in and he put two in. So yeah. my deck has three twists, which is helpful, and then I played a Heat of Battle. That gives you enough to kill him. Yeah, and he had four of those, so he's got enough to shoot me back. So I'm probably going to bounce Falcon here and put in Yoda. There we go. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think Yoda's, still, on he has, Yoda's only got two guns right now, too. Yeah. That's all right. It's probably more important he's got to focus. I think right now you would have just focused down the uh, Tarrant, Tarrant guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because he's annoying. And he's going to drop another one in. <laughs> yeah. And block with with threat from the depths and block. And Now I'm really glad I got the Guardian out. <laughs> mm-hmm. I put in three, and I think he just put in one, it looked like, so... I'm going to win Edge. I won't be able to kill it, but that's going to let me lock something else down instead. Because I think that's what I'm going to choose to do. I can protect to the Guardian so I can keep yeah. Yoda and the Guardian alive, actually. So I'm going to shoot the Terratonic for two, do one to the objective, and i got to think I'll focus Gork, probably. It depends on what you plan on doing with the Freeholders. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I plan to attack. <laughs> And yeah, because you could put second focus on the uh, other Tarantic. Right. Tarantic, whatever he's called. Yeah, so I um, so I didn't. I actually, well, so I took the day two damage, bounced one to the Guardian, and now I'm going to attack with the Freeholder and see if I can maybe win an edge battle here. 
Uh, how did that guy die? I thought he uh, had... He had put him else. in with threat from the depths. So he oh, had to sacrifice yeah. him after the turn ended. That's right. Yeah, then he used no. Right. Yeah. So he can't put anything else in right now. So he basically could defend with the dragon snake if he wants to. If I win edge, I'll kill it and focus something else down. Yeah, you wanna you wanna put a second focus on that Tarantic guy. Yeah, I think. And that's probably what my goal is here. I'm probably thinking, if he doesn't block, then I'm just gonna focus the <laughs> the big creature. If he does block, I might try to win edge. I think looks like he's not blocking, so I'm gonna get three damage total in on reawakening. So I'll put it four damage on it now after I kind of pose goes through. And I did lock the Terratonic down. And I'm going to trigger Gammer. And there's a resource. <laughs> and I think I'm going to be committing the Guardian because I probably pitched my Wolfman at some point there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, and it also it's one more pip that he's got to deal with, and you can easily kill off the Guardian to get that Force card right. back if you need it. Yeah. So uh, he's got to free up Gork again, but his Terratonic's focused. And neither one of us has drawn a resource yet this game. I do. Well, I just drew that one with Gammer, but he hasn't played any either. Yeah. And that's definitely got to be slowing his side down. <laughs> yeah. You're not... in much better shape than he is, though, because you had two locations over there that are crippled, and the di mm -hmm. or the dial's only at three, I think. Yeah. So he just played a Sith Library. He finally got a resource there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play Falcon again, but I know I have Falcon in my hand, and I should have that resource. They might be the only two cards I have, so. Mm hmm And he is playing Arden Lynn, having to pay for her. Uh. <laughs> so there's something else with three guns, unfortunately, but... Now, he could push Gorkin, like he said, and kill my Nudge if he wants to. Or my Guardian or whatever. So he is sending... Look, he's sending Gork in, And he's pulling the Nudge and he's going after my uh, Secret of Yavin 4. Well, I think he went for Luke's location, but maybe oh, yes. he pulled him up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he went after Hero's Journey. That's right. So I didn't actually... I should have... I guess I could have bounced it, but I decided not to bounce it since it, since I'd already focused it. I'm almost like, go ahead, blow it up. Let me get a resource, you know, like back. So he's yeah, gonna, well, he, he's just going to do three damage to it. Yeah, kill my nudge. And I'll go up to four. Gork's double focused again, so I don't have to worry about Gork. I think I was expecting him to drop picking, but he didn't again. <laughs> Why'd you only put one damage on it? Oh, he actually chose not to. Um, sorry. He didn't put anything in edge, so I technically won edge. <laughs> so Gork's blasts are white. So he only got the other oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize both of his uh, blasts were white. I was yeah, thinking he had... I, I thought they, they were... Uh, uh, he had both black and white. Yeah, he, he chose not to put anything in edge. So then I was really expecting Pick to come in when I shot with the nudge, but he didn't drop Pick in. Mm. And uh, I think he discarded a freeholder with reawakening, which is a little annoying. Of course, I didn't probably have a way to get it in right now anyway. Because I think he's only got a couple cards in his hand now. Maybe he's got three. He's got mm. three or four, but I couldn't have done that. So I finally got a resource here. I still got three. So is there anything I can play for three? I can play a hired hands. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I can see a Luke Saber in my hand. You don't really have a good target for it, though. No, nah, I mean... I changed my mind. Actually, I'm going to play a Cloud City Operative here. Now, that could be helpful because I can move on from Gork, yep, from Gork to the Dragon Snake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, isn't that the op you had from the beginning? Ah, uh, yeah, probably is. So maybe I have three cards in my hand <laughs> still. Yeah, see, that's coming back to bite him now. Not letting you have that. I mean, yeah. who knows how it would have been differently, because uh, then you would have had more resources right. throughout the game. But, uh, yeah, now now all he has to block is Arden, who you could easily just send the op to lock down. Yep. Yep. And if he doesn't block, then 
<laughs> if he doesn't block, I'll be able to lock her down. If he does block, I'll be able to lock her down. So it looks like I, I was starting to go after reawakening. I changed my mind. I'm going to go after threat from the depths to try to keep him from putting more creatures in, I guess. See if I can blow yeah. that up, and then, then I can yeah. attack without something else coming in. Well, you get the freeholder who has uh, four health anyway, so yeah. Arden can't kill him. No, not... And you still have the Guardian. Right. I can protect one to the Guardian. Now, if you drop something in with a couple guns, I may not be able to survive here with the Freeholder, but he is dropping in the Tukata, so now he's got a weight tactics, and I think he's just blocking with that. I don't think he's blocking with Arden. Nope, nope, he is blocking with both. <laughs> yeah. So I got some cards. Let's see what I put in here. I may be pitching that Falcon. Try to win edge. Yeah, he really needs this edge. Uh, so I had four, and I think he had four. Yeah. So he's going to win edge. He's going to focus the freeholder, shoot it for one. He's going to try to shoot my freeholder for three, and I'm probably going to protect one of them to the guardian to keep the freeholder alive, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to have a free board to swing at, even though I didn't blow up threat from the depths, but at least he's used it now this turn. Yeah, I was thinking I might have sent the guardian along with the freeholder when he went just to put a shield on him. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. At the very least, I would have protected him from tactics. Yeah, that's true. That was probably a bad move on my part. Uh, so now I got a bunch of things left. I, sh- I can just take out Reawakening with the Cloud City Operative and lock some stuff down. Yeah, you definitely want to do that. Put another one on the Terran tick. Yeah. Um, and you actually could send Yoda and the Hired Hand and uh, keep Gork as well out of there. Yeah. If so- you send them both, you can lock his entire board except for the snake. Yeah, it looks like I actually put one on Gork there. Yeah, well, now I'm sending you, yeah. Now, now I'm sending of... Yoda and the hired hands, and that's probably right. I'll probably put one on Gork and one on the Terratetic, so he's only got the Dragon Snake left. Yeah, and get three damage total on uh, to Brothers of the Sith. Yeah, because then you still you get Force, and you get your Wolfman, yep. and so the dial's not even going to be at six, or you're even in in the danger yet, and he's down to a total of three health between his two objectives. Yeah, and he doesn't really have Blast in that deck, as we know, so I'm going to take Cloud City Operative, I'm going to commit the Wolfman just to sort of force his hand here, since he's got a couple things committed already. And the dial will go up to five. (laughs) Yeah, it'd be hard for him to blow up all three now with Secret of having four out anyway. So I got his board pretty locked down here, so that's not bad. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to live the, another yeah. turn here. Yeah, and then there is another threat from the depths. <laughs> now, I think that actually is still limit one per... Is it one per engagement or one per... I think it's one per turn. So so I think I even though he's got both out, I think he can only use it once. Uh, he just finally got a resource. Is that the... I can't. I think it must have been uh, the free one because I don't see where he paid for it. I do not know. Yeah, I think that's is that what Dark Lair or whatever it's called. And then there's the uh, the new resource that co- costs two. The um, I'm trying to remember the name of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the threat from the depths. <laughs> you remember what me. it's called off the top of your head? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, again, Creatures is not something I've spent much time with yet. Yeah, I mean, I've played a little bit of it, mainly against it more than anything. Dr. Mung Mung's played a Creature deck against me online a few times. So, yeah, I've, I've seen a number of them played against me, but I've, I've right. yet to use it so, myself. So the first one was Valley of the Dark Lords. I'm looking them up right now. That's the one that's free. And then the one he just played is Endless Hunger. That's the two for one. It also has an ability with it that if you, uh, if an enemy is destroyed during engagement when you have a creature unit participating, you can return a creature unit from discard to your hand. And there mm. is Pick, and I'm glad Gork is locked down here. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, you don't have much to defend with, but you're not in danger of really losing anything where he is. Right. So. I mean, the only thing he could even sort of lock down 
with pick would be the Cloud City operative or the hired hands. Yeah, he kind of needs to take force two to get rid of your hired hands. Right, right. It looks like he's attacking uh, with pick at Hero's Journey, and I'm not redirecting this time again either. Well, he has targeted <coughs> strike. He can kill Yoda. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think I forgot about that. So he's going to kill Yoda probably. Yeah, and I still have kill Yoda. Yeah, I still have two on the force with the Wolfman, and all he's got is the Dragon Snake, so I'm probably going to keep balance here now. If I was him, I would have been, I would attack his the Wolfman and commit the Snake and okay, try. Yeah, he has take. okay. So he has commit, he has uh, tactics in the Wolfman, and then he's going to. Yeah. Uh, what's he doing? He's spending one to do something. What's he doing? Hmm. I don't know what that was. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what he did there. That was bizarre. I must have missed something. Well, and, I don't know why he would have discarded the top card of his deck and paid a resource to do it. Yeah. Maybe he played Dark Precog and discarded something. I don't know. That was bizarre. Well, it wouldn't have come from the top of his deck, though. No, it shouldn't have, unless he just saw it and went. So, I actually won... Force there still because I flipped up a two so he couldn't get it back and I blew up the one threat from the depths and yeah. now I think I should have it because just with what's on the board because actually I shouldn't say that because he could put something in with threat from the depths still the other one's out mm. but uh he's only got yeah. one defender right now yeah but you got black damage on both on yeah. two guys there and I think so. I still have Falcon also. Yeah, I'm playing Falcon. <laughs> yeah, so I wonder if I'll send everybody in but the operative. <laughs> yep. You, you could have even sent the Falcon and uh, uh, I guess that it would depend what's in your hand. But uh could have sent him at the other objective and locked the guys down. Um, and then uh, drop something in maybe that has one blast yeah. to kill uh, Brothers of the Sith. So I th Actually, you know what he might have paid for before? I think he got the Sith Worm back from his discard. Mm. Um, I don't know why. He, it still doesn't explain why he discarded a card, though. Yeah, I don't. Well, I thought he played Dark. I remember playing Dark Precog in that game, so I guess I just won Edge and blew it up with Falcon. So, so I was able to win this first game here in the first round of my first ever regional against Christian. So that was, <laughs> I was mm. off to a good start, three points. And uh, as we're getting ready to switch in a minute after we kind of clean up here, so you got any thoughts about that game before we maybe wrap it up and and keep moving along on our tournament games here? <laughs> No, nah, I mean, the, both decks were slow just because you had no uh, resources. But, uh, I mean, that's really what the creatures do is they just have to sit back and play defense because they don't have that much offense. Right, right. So it, it's a matter of whether or not they can get enough tricks. You know, you had, like, the four stasis the one time, but um, you you got to be able to win edge. It's, it's really hard for them to deal with something like Falcon or, whatever because he can always just bounce it yeah and the, so. the guardian really came in handy there too because like you said creatures have a lot of guns so the being able to protect some of it to, to keep things alive and get them to strike is mm -hmm. <laughs> was pretty useful for me on that end all right well that'll wrap it up for this uh first game from the regional the carry north carolina regional at gamers armory between myself and christian and uh we'll be back soon with more episodes of the air to hut Gary hut from the regional uh, thanks again for joining me for commentary as always, Derek. Appreciate it. Yep, anytime.